Just looking at animal welfare post a fire, you need to make sure that livestock are in good condition. So you need to get all the animals together. You need to check their feet, lameness, those sorts of things. You need to check if there's any damage to face, mouth, udder, teats, vulva. All those sorts of areas can be burnt really quickly. They have less um, fur cover than other parts of the animal. Uh, and assessment from that, and particularly in association with a veterinary team, will help you decide what animals you can go on with, what animals might require treatment, and what animals may require humane destruction. Once we've been through the initial fire, we need to then look at our management going on. You may have acquired your emergency feed supply, emergency water supplies. You've got your livestock that are going to be either ongoing treatment or you're planning on keeping. We need to keep monitoring those animals during that time period. It's really important to look at feet in particular. We seem to see damage associated with feet not show up until a week to two weeks after the initial insult. So you may start to see break in the coronet band of the hooves. You may see um, liquid coming out of them, so a discharge coming away. And you may even see animals start to get lamer and start to lose their feet altogether. The other examinations that are important, not only are feet likely to show up later, but damage to udders. So teats can be completely blocked off. And if you've got pregnant cows, you get calves born, and then you have problems that the calves have got no way of sucking. So we need to do those sorts of examinations. Likewise, with regards to breeding animals, you need to check that there's not damage to the vulva so that there's no issue with penetration in serving. And with males, you need to look to prepucial damage that could have taken place during the fires as well. Sometimes the scarring will actually close over the orifice and create issues there. So they're the sorts of assessment that we may be doing later on physically on the animals. The other things that we need to check out are respiratory changes. So smoke inhalation may show damage later down the line with secondary bacterial infections and pneumonias. So if you have an animal that's been going reasonably well and starts to go off their feed or separate away from the other livestock that you've got, make sure you get veterinary attention to those ones.